Hello and welcome to another session on gems of geometry and uh, we are going to take up another theorem here in this session and the theorem says if a cyclic quadrangle has perpendicular diagonals intersecting at point P, the line through P perpendicular to any side bisects the opposite side. So what we are going to do is we will first construct this uh, diagram and then we'll prove the theorem. So let's construct the diagram. So what do we need? It says cyclic quadrangle has perpendicular diagonal. So let's just draw two lines and basically perpendicular lines. So let me say this and this is a line and let me draw a perpendicular line to this line. Okay, so from here I'm taking, yeah, okay. So I have to draw a perpendicular line from this point. These are the perpendicular lines, right? Now we have to just make sure that there is a quadrangle, uh, cyclic quadrangle. So and uh, these two lines should be the diagonals, or the diagonal should fall on these lines. So let's just draw any circle. Um, let us say I am taking this as center, and uh, from here passing through any. Yep. So this is my circle, and what I'm going to do is I am just going to. Um, delete these points or other yeah so what i'm going to do is so i have got a circle where two perpendicular lines are there so i can now identify these points let's say this is point f so let me rename is rename as p okay p and let us say this point is q so let me rename this as q so this is q and uh, i need this d is let me rename it as R okay and let us say this point here let us rename it as S P Q R S okay and then I can hide these lines and objects which one so I would not be needing this E I would not be needing the C neither this line nor this line or this point A nor this point B Okay, now we can draw or join these segments. So let's say QS and PR. So PR and QS. These are two diagonals, and now we can create a polygon or a cyclic quadrangle required. So PQRS is the required cyclic quadrangle where the diagonals are perpendicular to each other, right? And how do I know it? You can you can coin this or let let this name be um, T. Okay. Yeah. So you can check this angle will be S T 90 degrees, right? So 90 degrees. And let me see if I can move this point around. No, but then the 90 degrees thing is gone. So this is the only thing. Okay, I can do like this. Yeah. So if I maintain point R to be on this line, then 90 degrees. Fair enough. So this is good uh, enough construction. I don't need this. So let me just uh, delete that part. Okay. So this is the required, uh, um, what do you say, the diagram. Now, let me, uh, yeah, this is perfect enough. Now what I'm, uh, let's go to the second part. So it says the line through P. Okay. So this name has to be P, but. Um, okay, so we have to rename it. So P Q R S T. So let me rename this as T. Okay. And so that I can name this as P. Okay. So let me rename this as P so that we do not different or we do not deviate from whatever the question is given now or the theorem is. So now it says the line through P perpendicular to any side. So let's pick any side arbitrarily. Shall we pick R S? Let's pick RS and let's draw a perpendicular line on RS. So passing through P that is, okay. So here is what I have done. And now this is the point of intersection of, so let us call this name as U, right? Okay, perfect. So this is what, now the question is, or they are saying that U will be the midpoint of QT, is it? So first of all, Let's try to measure it. 
is it so so angle distance right so i'm measuring tu it comes out to be 3.9 and this one oh wow so it is actually midpoint so u is the midpoint of tq and let me just change the circle a bit yeah but there also you can see the relationship is intact that is that is the midpoint actually and now 2.6 here also um till i am maintaining the fact that they are 90 degrees so this is see till i maintain 90 degrees i will get the same right see this is going to be same so hence till the diagonals are perpendicular to each other our job or whatever they are saying is true so let's try to prove it now how do we prove it so let me delete this i will not require this part full so let me delete this as well oh sorry no i need not delete that i have to um yeah simply switch off this line because this is not needed okay and then take a segment and join up right oh in fact i had to do oh, i had to do the other part as well so sorry so we what we have to do is we have to let it be and uh, this point is needed yes and now i can hide this line that's not needed anymore so i am hiding it and i am joining ud or let me name this rename it as uv right so this looks good all towards the end of the english alphabet very good now i have to simply join u and v okay and now uh, i can also show this that this angle is 90 degrees which one so if i measure this angle s v and e perfect i don't need this value so let me just take this value off okay so this is the point v let me highlight this point v here oh this is v this is alpha right i don't need this either so let me turn this off as well okay um can i mm, name and value value caption Oh, show label so let me just take it away yep this looks good this is the diagram this is the construction and now i need to prove it so how do we prove it let's try to prove this theorem so what are we going to do so okay let's see what all is given to us okay now um let us say this angle is x okay if this angle is x then uh acha, first of all this is 90 degrees so this angle is 90 minus x no doubt about it right and if that is 90 minus x then this angle is x right so what i'm saying is angle v p s will be 90 minus x and angle r p v r p v is equal to 90 minus 90 minus x hence x so this should be obvious right okay looks good now if this is x then this x so i am writing angle u p t is x no problem and also this angle is x right so i'm writing angle q t r or u t p or first let me write q t r is equal to angle q s r why is that because this is angle in the same segment angles in the same segment in the same segment of a circle are equal is it so hence it is subtended by both qr uh, basically qr is the you see this is the chord it subtends an angle at t and the same chord subtends an angle at s they are in the same segment so they must be equal and this is equal to x now in triangle this is a very important finding so in triangle upt what do we get we get um up will be equal to ut is it up is equal to ut up is equal to ut right why because 
This is isosceles triangle now. Angles, opposite angles are equal. See, x is equal to x. So, isosceles triangle. No problem. Now, um, similarly, you can say that up is equal to qp. So, instead of saying similarly, let's try and prove it. Okay. So, um, okay. So, what and how can we prove that? So, clearly, this angle is 90 minus x. Isn't it? This is 90 minus x without doubt. Okay, so um, mm, yeah, so this angle is how much? This angle will be uh, what will be this angle? This angle is so this is x, this angle is x clearly, this is 90 degree, isn't it? So this angle has to be 90 minus x now. I hope this is clear. So, what I am saying is angle T um, or angle QPU is equal to 90 minus X. Vertically opposite angle. Vertically opposite angle, isn't it? QPU, QPU is 90 minus X. Also, in triangle QTP, QTP, 90 degrees plus x plus angle TQP, TQP is equal to 180 degrees by ASP, angle sum property of a triangle. So, you can find out TQP is equal to 90 degrees minus x, right. That means, I am writing here now, in triangle UQP, UQP, angle U Q P is equal to angle U P Q or Q P U whichever way 90 minus X right 90 minus X let me write here 90 minus X okay so hence triangle U Q P is an isosceles triangle hence 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 U Q is equal to U P correct now let us say this was 1 and this is 2. So, you can say from 1 and 2. What do we get? Um, UP is equal to UT is equal to UP is equal to UT is equal to UQ. Hence, U is the midpoint. U is the mid point of side qt right hence proved this is what we wanted to prove so again just to reiterate what, what did the theorem say it said that if you have a quadrangle cyclic quadrangle such that the diagonals are perpendicular to each other then if you draw a line perpendicular to one of the sides passing through the point of intersection p then it is going to cut the opposite side exactly at the midpoint once again there are two diagonals of a cyclic quadrangle which are perpendicular. Now, if you draw a line such that the line segment is perpendicular to one of the sides like this and passes through that point of intersection of the diagonals, then it will go and bisect the opposite side QT. And this will be true for any pair, any side for that matter. So, if, if you draw a perpendicular here and take it like that. So, if this is 90 degrees, then this will be the midpoint. This will be the midpoint like that. So, it will be holding true for any side, right? So, this is what the theorem was saying and we constructed the diagram and we proved it as well. So, I hope you understood, understood this theorem and its proof as well. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.